Hi everyone, David Jackson here with SlingAndStoneMarketing.com and in this video I'm going to show you an updated way of installing an SSL certificate on the SiteGround hosting using the cPanel interface. SiteGround recently started supporting the wildcard SSL certificate for a domain so that means that if you have multiple subdomains you no longer need to have a certificate for each individual subdomain. You can just use a wildcard uh, domain certificate and that will cover all of your subdomains that you create that you have now and that you create in the future. So it's easy, it's just a couple of clicks and this is an updated video from the one that I did before uh, because SiteGround uh, in their cPanel interface has changed a couple things around so it makes that video no longer relevant. If you don't already have web hosting or if you're looking to switch your hosting provider, I highly recommend SiteGround. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can check out their features and their pricing and comparisons. Uh, but what I want to show you is that if you take a look at their plan details and their hosting features, uh, down here kind of near the bottom, you can see that all of their hosting plans come with a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. And this also includes the wildcard SSL certificate, which I'm going to show you how to install uh, in this video. But for those of you that already have SiteGround hosting, what you're going to do is you're going to come up to the top and you're going to log into your account. Then you are going to go to the cPanel. And then down here, all the way near the bottom, uh, you're going to click on the Let's Encrypt icon. So now you should be looking at the Let's Encrypt SSL page. And the first thing we're going to do is come down here where it says domain. And as you can see, I already have a demo and an images subdomain. Uh, if you don't have any subdomains created already, then these won't be showing up for you. Uh, if you do want to create a subdomain, then click the link up here in the upper right, and that'll take you to a video where I walk you through step by step on how to create a subdomain. Now before Let's Encrypt has started supporting the wildcard SSL certificates, you would have to create a certificate for each one of these subdomains and your main domain name. But now that there is the wildcard, all you have to do now is just click your main domain name and then select the wildcard SSL and then that will take care of any subdomains that you already have created or that you will create in the future. Now, if you don't plan on ever having any subdomains, all you want to do is just have your regular www.main domain name. Then all you need to do is click on the regular Let's Encrypt SSL. But if you ever want to create any subdomains or if you have subdomains already, then you want to make sure that you click on the wildcard SSL. Then all you have to do is click install. Then click on confirm. It should only take about a minute for it to go through the whole process and then it'll give you a confirmation that the certificate was successfully installed and then you just click OK. And as you can see I now have the wildcard here for the subdomain and my main domain name along with the demo and the images subdomains are all within this one wildcard SSL certificate. So the next thing that we want to do is come over here to where it says actions and we're going to select the HTTPS settings and open up that dialog box. And then we're going to come where it says HTTPS enforce and click that on. And what this does is if someone uses the regular HTTP when typing in your web address, this will automatically redirect them to the secure version of your website. And it gives you a little message telling you to make sure that uh, nothing is broken by explicitly uh, enforcing the secured connection. Uh, so you want to check your website to make sure that everything is still working properly. And then what I also like to do is come down here to where it says the external links rewrite and turn that on as well. And what this does is it makes sure that, that if there are any insecured connections that it will rewrite the link to make it a secured connection but you want to make sure that you check your website as well after turning this on to make sure that everything is working properly. So after you've checked your website and everything looks okay, then come down here and click OK. And now you have installed a wildcard SSL certificate on your website. Now one quick thing that I want to mention is that if you already had a regular SSL certificate installed and you want to upgrade it to a wildcard, that's simple to do as well. 
So what you'll see on your page is something similar to this where you will have your subdomains and everything over here on the left and then there will be a button saying get wildcard and what you want to do is you want to just click on that button and it will go through the same process of upgrading your regular SSL certificate to a wildcard uh, SSL certificate. And then once that's all done and confirmed, then you'll go through the same process of enforcing the HTTPS if you want to, or making sure that the external uh, resources are rewritten if they are being called insecurely. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up as it'll give me an opportunity to help others. And if you were able to get an SSL certificate installed on your website, make sure you leave the hashtag GiantSlayer in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos where I share the tools and strategies to help you overcome the giant obstacles standing in your way from marketing your business online, then make sure you click the subscribe button. I thank you for taking your time to watch this, and until next time, go out and slay some giants.